Hey there, it's Danielle from Bee Family Life. Since we've been staying at home a lot lately, I figured it'd be a good time to work on some unfinished projects, and this project will keep the kids busy too. I've got my cute helper Max, who wants to help build a light table. We are using a kids table from Ikea. We already have it partially assembled. Instead of using the white piece for the top of the table, we will be using a sheet of plexiglass. The plexiglass has been sprayed with frosted glass paint. The plexiglass has been notched out on the corners with an X-Acto knife so that it will fit right where the white table surface usually would go. We'll put this back onto the table. IKEA furniture comes with the tools that you need and it's easy enough for Max to do. Now we have the legs on, but we are not finished yet. We want to attach LED lights to the white table piece to light up our table. Depending on the LED strips that you buy, you will need to measure where you want to put them. Different strips have different cutting points, so your design might look differently than mine. I use some LED lights that have an adhesive strip on the back for easy installation. I needed some corner connections to make the strips go around in a spiral-like pattern. This part of the project takes a lot of time and isn't easy for the kids to help. The connections need to be precise and the polarity needs to match up. Positive wires need to line up with positive wires, especially when you make those bends. Make sure all the connections are working before fixing the strip to the table. Now we need to test it to make sure it will even work. Max is going to test the table. Wow. <laughs> it looks like we got it. The strip that we bought has a remote to change the colors. Next, we are going to try using power grab adhesive to glue the board with the lights onto the bottom of the table. I needed a few extra hands for this part. Make sure you push down firmly on all sides. The glue is supposed to be really strong, but I decided to drill some screws in too. I put one on each side, angling them slightly. Here we go, let's try it out. I moved the table down to the playroom so the girls could try it out. It looks like it's a hit. I'm going to make a thumbs up.
So pretty! Let's see who, whoever can stack the highest wins. You have to stack them on top of each other. This is a hard challenge. Oh, what do you see? Subscribe to our channel so you can find out what we're doing next.